Today I'm going to talk to you about the subject called How to Destroy Witchcraft Altars. How to Destroy Witchcraft Altars. Altars represent the occasion and the place where we have had a personal uh, inter uh, inter in in encounter with God. Uh, there is a witchcraft altar that has been built against you, against your family, that that altar must be destroyed before 2017. We are we are going to build an altar that that will that is an altar of God. All satanic altar or witchcraft altar is going to be. We are going to destroy them, dismantle them. So we we, we, we are as we go as we are going we are as we are going to 2017. We go while we know we don't have an altar. If you have not built your altar, call me. I will help you to build an altar. We are going to dismantle and destroy every witchcraft altar. With, without destroying them, we can't go anywhere. There are altars that have been built by witchcraft, by wicked people against your life, against you and your family, and you have no idea. The time, the day you will know the altar, that you raise up the altar of God, you will be shocked. You need to, to have an altar. If witchcraft can have an altar, what about you? Every witchcraft, every household witchcraft, they have altar. There is no a witch who does not have an altar. And you, child of God, you have no altar. So, as I'm going to teach you how to, to build your own altar, you call me. This one you need to call me, then I can help you. I can help you to build, to raise up an altar for you. Let's look at now the evil altar, satanic altar, and how we are going to destroy them. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. Uh, we are going to look from the book, we are going to read from the book of Second Chronicles 14, verse 1 to 7. Second Chronicles 14, verse 1 to 7. Dr. Rind, can you read for us, please? Amen. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. Thank you, thank you, thank you for joining. Thank you for coming. Thank you. Okay, go ahead, my sister. Yes, thank you, Lord. Yes, God, I thank you. My God. Second Chronicles 14, verse 1 to 7. Yes. So Abijah rested with his fathers, and they buried him in the city of David. Then as Asa, his son, reigned in his place, in his days the land was quiet for ten years. Mm-hmm. Asa did what was good and right in the eyes of the Lord his God. Mm -hmm. For he removed the altars of the foreign gods in the high places and broke down the sacred pillars and cut down the wooden images. Amen. For he took away the altars of the strange, of the gods. Can you repeat that verse 3, please? Amen. Verse 3, for he removed the altars of the foreign gods. And the foreign gods, gods, all of strange gods. Uh -huh. and, and the high priests and broke down the sacred pillars and cut down the wooden images. <laughs> you know, the Bible is telling us that Asher did that which was good and right in the eyes of God. Is God. Is God our God, our Heavenly Father? Oh, glory be the name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you. I like Asher because he knows his God. When he, he became a king, he saw a, a witchcraft altar and he, he knew that he, he cannot operate while this altar is there. He has to do something about the altar. So the Bible says he took away the altar of the strange gods and the high places and break down the image and cut down the graves. You see, he, he went for the altars. You can't operate while the altars of witchcraft are crying against you. You can't do anything while the witchcraft are building an altar in your community. You can't work a place where the altar has been built against you. You can't. That's why you see some some of you you struggle a lot. You can't you can't operate even your business 
who are little witchcraft, the wicked people, they know how to build the all that they have built and all that. They will swallow your business. They will make sure your business is dead. And you, theirs is moving. You don't you, you can't can't you see how the children of the devil they have big big business, they have they are richer than anybody. Than children of God. Why? Because they know how to raise their altar, altar of prosperity. And they sacrifice in that altar. They, their altar is not a joke. They sacrifice, they are obedient to their altars. Now, when Asha looked at this and they found that this altar, it is there, so he went and destroyed them. We have to destroy the altar of Satan and build the altar of God. It's when you can function, it's when you can you can you can you can move, you can prosper. Continue, sister, fast four. Verse four. He commanded Judah to seek the Lord of the Lord God of their fathers. Yes. And to observe the law and the commandment. Yes. That's why. He also removed. Yes. Go ahead. He also removed the high places and the incense altars from all the cities of Judah, and the kingdom was quiet, was quiet under him. Hallelujah. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Hallelujah. And the, he, the Bible says, he and he commanded Judah. Yes. Mm -hmm. And he commanded Judah. He just hold on. And he commanded Judah to seek the Lord God for their father and to do their law and commandments. Yes. Now he commanded Judah, Judy, Judah, Judah to seek the Lord. The God, the Lord God of, of their fathers, and to do the, the law and the commandment. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. Verse 5. Verse 5, he also removed the high places and the incense altars from all the cities of Judah, and the kingdom was quiet under him. Hallelujah. Also, he removed, uh, hi, he, remo he, he, he also, he took a way out of, of all the cities of, Judea, of, of Judea, the high places and the image, and the kingdom was quite before him. The kingdom was quite after cleaning, after removing all the altars, all satanic altars, all witchcraft altars, all evil altars. He removed them. He removed all of them and the place was quite quiet before him. Everything was opaque because there was no altar which was, was working against him. Verse 6. Verse 6. And he built fortified cities in Judah for the land had rest. Mm -hmm. He had no war in those years. You see? Because the Lord had given him rest. Amen. You know, what make him to have rest, what make him to have peace, is because he destroyed the evil altar. He destroyed witchcraft altar. He destroyed satanic altar. That's why when you want to achieve, when you want to do anything, you have to know which altar is building in the area that you are working. You must know which kind of altar is these people building. You must know how to dismantle those altars spiritually and physically through, through the prayer and the worshiping and you, you sacrifice. So when you destroy the altar, the altar cannot fight you. There is no powers of darkness that will hinder you. Now, because of that, that is a very good example. That is showing us that, that after he destroyed the altars, altars of witchcraft, now he had peace. He, he had quite peace because there was no war. There was nothing. Yes? Verse, verse 7. Verse 7. Yes. Therefore he said to Judah, let us build these cities and make walls around them. Yes. And towers. Yes. And gates and bars. Yes. While the land is yet before us. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. We have sought the Lord our God. We have sought him and he has given us rest on every side. Amen. So they built and prospered. Yes. They build and prosper. Now you will build the order of God with the order of prosperity. The order that will make you to, to prosper. 
after this month or every the altars now you need to raise up the altar that's why i'm telling you if you don't know if you have no altar you are you need to, to build an altar you need to have an altar of god and then you will prosper when you have an altar you where you go and cry to god i'm telling you your life will never be the same again because you need an altar children of, of darkness they have their altar they go and sacrifice to the altar. They go and 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 spend time there. They can go and 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 and, and they call your names. They have rest. They spend hours. They fast. They fast so many days. Do you know? Even they can deny meeting their wives and 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 the husband because they want something to happen. There was a lady. She was a prostitute. She was telling us that if she want to destroy big big children of of the ministers. Even the minister themselves, he goes to she goes to fast for one month, fasting to make sure that she has captured all the big big people, and then when they come to to her, she will make sure that they will divorce. No one will go back to their wife, and it's a prostitute, and they make a lot of money through committing themselves. They go to 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 fast forty days, just fasting for that demon. After fasting, when she come out, she any man who goes, any man who goes there, that man will divorce. He will never go back to the wife again. If he, he will make sure that he has taken all the money, he has taken the, she has taken all the money of that person. If it is a business, he will close down the business. Anything that person has, he will make sure that everything is finished and all the money goes to her. Yeah, that is a child of darkness. They can do like that and they succeed. Now, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. What about you, child of God? Have you sit down and, and think, why is it that the children of darkness, the children of the devil, they prosper more than you? And they are worshiping the devil. They, they don't go to church. They don't give their tithes and offering. They don't give. But they know what they give. They give to their gods. They give to their demons. Yeah? They sacrifice there. Therefore, that's why. Now, I want you to know how to build an altar. Hallelujah. If you look at that, the book of Deuteronomy 7, verse 5. Look at the book of Deuteronomy 7, verse 5. Sister Lindy, go, go there and read for us, yes. please. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Deuteronomy 7 verse 5. Yes. But thus you shall deal with them. You shall destroy their altars and break down their sacred pillars and cut down their wooden images and burn their carved images with fire. Good. You know, God is saying, God is telling us, this is most, God told Moses, please Moses, go there and deal with them. You destroy their altars and break down their sacred places, their image, and cut down their groves and burn their groves, their, their groven image with the fire. We are going to use the fire of God to destroy every altar crying against you, every altar that is resting against you, against your prosperity, against your work, against your family. Let this altar catch fire and burn to ashes in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes. I pray that let the, the earth shake and tremble and also the hills and their foundation. Let them be removed and shaken because God is, is because of God is wrath in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, God. God is going to destroy and burn down the every satanic altar, every witchcraft altar in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, God, my Father. Amen. In the name of Jesus. 2017, you are not going to carry any satanic altar. No altar would, would follow you. Every altar of witchcraft would die, would be broken, would be destroyed, would be burned to ashes in Jesus' name. Yes. Amen. My God, we thank you, Father. Oh, Lord, rebuke. Let, let God rebuke every evil foundations and cast them to the sea and out of your way in Jesus' name. Let God shake uh -huh. every satanic foundation of the, of, of, of the altar, every evil altar. 
with their foundation. Let God shake them. Let God remove them. Let God break them to pieces in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Let God break every foundation in, in your possession. That therefore, God Almighty will break them and destroy them in Jesus' name. Yes, my God. Amen. I pray that let the power of ignorance, you know the power of ignorance is bad. Ignorance is a big, big, big disease. Ignorance is a, a, is a demon. People, the Bible says, my people are perishing, be, are perishing because of lack of knowledge. Lack of knowledge, God has given us knowledge, but be, because of lack of, of knowledge, people are destroyed. Now, this power of ignorance is dangerous. It's a disease. Therefore, I pray every ignorance holding you captivity. I command them to be destroyed, to be landed powerless, to be destroyed from your life in Jesus' name. In the mighty name of Amen. Jesus, hallelujah. Yes, you will overcome, but you will overcome by the blood of Jesus, by the blood of the, the Lamb. Every satanic altar, you will overcome. You will overcome them. You will bring them down. You will destroy them in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Amen. But Father, I want to thank you. I want to thank you. Lord, I want to thank you, Lord. I want to give you all the glory, my Father. I decree destruction to every household enemy, evil foundation, evil altar, satanic altar, resisting your promotion and breakthroughs. In the mighty name of Jesus, I break them. I break them. I destroy them. Household altars. Household altars. That is denying your promotion. Household altars. That is responsible for your prosperity. House of, house of, house of, household altar. That is are crying against you. I break them. I destroy them. I destroy them in Jesus' name. I command them wherever Amen. they are. In the mighty name of Jesus, let them catch fire. You remember the book Amen. of Deuteronomy told Moses, destroy them and set them fire. Let the fire of God consume every household altars. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Amen. Jesus. The God is going to destroy them and you need to build a new altars. After this order is being destroyed, you need to des to build a new one. In the mighty name of Jesus, if you want to build your new a new altar, call me because you need a new order. You need to build an order. After this one is being destroyed, then you need to place an altar. Call me. my number is nine zero five seven nine two three seven nine eight. The number to call is nine zero five. Seven nine two three seven nine eight. This is the number. If you want me to help you to build an altar, because you are going to destroy this altar, is going to be dismantled. It's going to be destroyed. Now you need to raise up an altar. You need to build an altar, like what Asha did. When Asha destroyed all the altars, he had peace. He had there was no war. He has rest. Then he went and built a new one. So. You have to build in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you. I give you all the glory, God, in the name of Jesus. Some people, they do understand this. I thank God so much. And I pray the blood of Jesus that God will help you to understand this. It is an altar. Without understanding the altar, it is a disaster. You have to know how to build an altar. In Jesus' name. I strongly refuse to recognize the voice of the evil foundation speaking on your behalf. Let the, the, let the foundation of Satan that has been built on your behalf to be destroyed in Jesus' name. In the mighty name of Jesus Amen. Christ. Yes, my God, we thank you. Yes, the number, the number is 905-792-3798. Anybody can write it to them so that they can see the number. Thank you, Jesus. The number to call is 905-792-3798. That is the number you can call. I am praying that let the foundations, the foundation of the enemy, the foundation of witchcraft altar, that of resting against you, let it be destroyed in Jesus' name. Let them catch fire. You, you can meditate that the book of Deuteronomy 7 verse 5. You can repeat that the book of Deuteronomy 7 verse 5. 
You can see what Moses, God told Moses to do. He told them to dismantle and burn that altar with, with the fire. So, so that the, the altar cannot rest again. You know, to build, it takes time, but to destroy is just a minute. You said it's fire. The dismantle is very easy. But the building, it takes time. So when you are going to build an order, it will take you time. But the dismantle is just a minute. You set the fire. So do, do, to dismantle, to destroy the altar of the, of the devil, right now, altars of the devil, many of you, they have been destroyed. Now is to build a new, on, a, an altar. Thank you, Jesus. Every altar cry, carrying out instruction from, for, for evil. Yes. Thank you, thank you so much. Every altar carrying out instruction for evil to hinder you, I command them to be set fire and burn to ashes in Jesus' name. Every altar, every satanic altar, every evil altar carrying out instruction for 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 to hinder you, to hinder your progress, to hinder your your your, your business, to hinder your job, to hinder you. Hallelujah. Let it catch fire and burn to ashes in Jesus' name. Yes, I'm praying for you right now. It is the, it is, it is the Lord that has given, given us power to make us wealthy. Therefore, paralyze and destroy every altar and their spells working against you. You know, it is the power of God that has given you wealthy. It is the power of God that has given you wealthy to live, prosper, and enjoy. And if an altar of the enemy has built against your prosperity, against you, they want you to be poor. They don't want you to, to see you with anything. Let those altars catch fire and burn to ashes in Jesus' name. They, 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 are, they are building an altar with spells. My daughter was talking to me something which I felt very sore and very bad about it. And I asked her, can, can, can we get the person to pray, to pray for the person? You know, witchcraft, there's, there's husband or wives. They go and they spells to the husband. Now this husband becomes stupid. I'm repeating this. There's a video I talked to that, but I want to repeat this again clearly. Now, when they spell on a man, even if a man is having big job, this man he will go and stay in the house. He doesn't go anywhere. They stay in the He doesn't go to anywhere. He, can, he will go to office home office he doesn't talk to anybody now in and, and it reaches the time now the person will give up the job because he doesn't go anywhere he wants to stay home with the wife and this man even if you tell him anything about the wife they he can't reason and the wife can abuse him can do anything the man will never open his mouth they use what we call spells and an altar the woman has built an altar it is the same also the the man can do to a woman and I can manipulate the woman and take everything from the woman. I know one man, he called himself a prophet, a pastor. He used spells to women. He has, he has made women tr transfer their land, their, 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 their title deed, their houses to him. Every, 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 every province, he goes there and, and cheat and lie to these women because the women that are desperate need a man. He's under some, he looks good, he's a very good person. I've said this before. Now, this man, what he does, he, he, he goes to a rich women, women who are rich but they are single, and they, and they spell on them. Now, this woman, they can do everything they, this man wants, and they, and they end up losing everything to him. So, these women, they build their altar, and they have spells from their altar. Now, with, with, if, without Jesus, you can't, you can't manage this. Therefore, I thank Jesus that God is able, the blood of Jesus is able to destroy every alt of spells. Every alt of spells that has been built against you, that has been built against your life, that has been built against your business, let it catch fire and burn to us. Because, because God himself, he is the one who has given us power to get wealth. And the children of the devil, that has built an altar of spells to spell on you, that you become stupid, your mind can be con controlled by, by such a people. Let it be destroyed in Jesus' name. Yes, Lord, my Father. Amen. I want to thank you, God. My God, my God, I thank you. Let, let's look in the book of Deuteronomy 28, verse 12. 
Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. God is good. Yes. The book of Deuteronomy 28, verse 12. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, God is God. Thank you. Yes, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, my friend. Yes. There are altars, altars, the people building. If you know, and it, it is working for them. Why not as we build the altars of God to work for every child of the devil? They have an altar and it is working for them. Now it is your duty, it's your responsibility to build an altar. This is this thing I'm talking to you. You will see soon all the pastors are going to preach about this altar and they are going to have their altars. Many pastors are going to call me because they want me to teach them about the altar and they will they will rest at the altar in their church. Hallelujah. Praise be the name Amen. of Jesus. Yes, God. Thank you, Jesus. You got the scripture, sister? Yes, ma'am. Okay, go ahead and read Deuteronomy, it. Deuteronomy 28, verse 12. Yes. The Lord will open to you his good treasure, the heavens, to give the rain to your land in its season. Yes. And to bless all the work of your hand. You shall lend to many nations, but you shall not borrow. Amen. That is the plan of the Lord. That is how God is planning to you. You will never pull to it. That's a lie. If you are struggling with the finances, if you are struggling with the money, that's not the plan of God. God has, has planned that you will prosper. And here is a child of the devil that has built an altar of poverty in your life. That you need, they, they need to see you poor. They need to see you begging bread to eat. They need to see you following everywhere. Your credit is so bad. You have been following everywhere, everywhere, until the, even the food to eat, bread to eat, you have to follow. You borrow up to five dollars. I know people, I know for sure this is true. You pour up to five dollars. You can't have anything. And then you, you think this is, a, this is a joke. This is not a joke. This is not a joke I'm telling you. A very satanic altar, a very altar in your, in your, of, of poverty that the enemy has built in your life, let it catch fire and burn to ashes. Let it be destroyed in Jesus' name. You can't watch, you can't watch the enemy, the devil, waiting you, going to university, finished, getting your degree, and you have your certificate, then your certificate cannot get a job. Because a wicked person has built an altar that is refusing you to get a job, that altar will catch fire and burn to ashes. 2017, don't let it, that altar operate on your life. It is very sad. It's very painful. You start business, you put effect, you, you put your, all your strength there. Now the child of the devil, when he sees you are going to get a contract, he rests out his altar. Because you have no idea, you, you don't have an altar. The child of the devil go to the altar and sacrifice and crown that altar and then you lose the contract. This is not job. It's not fun. Children of God. A PhD degree is paid like a diploma. Somebody who has sweat has worked so hard to get a PhD and now is driving a tax. That's not easy. That's not good. That's not fair. It's because of the child of the devil has rest an altar against that such a person. You have to speak. You have to speak loud. You have to, to command that the altar to, to break it to pieces in Jesus' name. You have been married. You did a wonderful wedding. Everybody was excited, very happy. No child. He has no child. Why? The, the Bible says there is no barren woman or animals. None. The Bible says so. Nobody. God never created barren woman or barren uh, uh, animal. Everything must give birth. Now you, your, your stomach is, is closed. You can't give, you can't be pregnant. That is a lie. Somebody has sit down and build an altar. Swell, keep taking, swelling your children, eating your children. They put a snake in your belly. That snake is sleeping there. It's like a baby. Any child coming there, they swallow, they eat. They eat, they eat. Because somebody has sit down and build an altar. And you, you are watching. I'm telling you, this, it is evil and bad. It's up to you. If you build the altar, 
these things cannot happen to you. You have to know how to rest an altar. Call me. I will help you. <laughs> I'm here to help you. God has called me to you to help you. Call me. My, my phone number is 905-792-3798. That's, I, I want to help you. It's not fair. Because of the children, and you have no idea, you have no idea what they do. The alt of certain they, they, they work. That's why you don't have children. You, you are 50 years, you have never got pregnant. The time you want to be pregnant, the egg is eaten by the snake. Huh. Children of God, we must be very aggressive. 2017 is a different year. You have suffered enough. You don't have to carry anything there. You would be free and flow with the blessings. You have to enjoy to be happy. Somebody has built an altar that you can never be married. They have sitting there at the altar, they have said you will marry, but you will never enjoy your husband. They take it, you remain single like that. That's a lie. God himself created a man and a wife. He did, he did create a single. He said it's not good for one to, to, to remain alone. It's not single to live alone. He said <laughs> you have a partner. So if you are a widow or a widow, that's, an, that's, that, that's not a problem. It is a problem, yes, but that's not the plan of God. You have to remarry. Or to, if you want to remain single, that's fine. But God did not create like that. That somebody has sit down and build an altar. And the altar has cried against you. Said you will be single to death. That's a lie. We destroy those altars. We are not going to, to live such a life anymore. Yes. This, that's why I'm saying, call, call me. Uh, WhatsApp, I'm free to call. Me. Let me give you the number for to call me WhatsApp. The number 905-792-3798 is a WhatsApp. You can always call me WhatsApp. Or, uh, yeah, you can call me. Text me WhatsApp. You can call me. I will help you. You need to, you need to, be, you need to build an altar. Hallelujah. Oh, God. Stand on, let God stand on your word. Let God stand on, on, your, on his word. God will stand, his, you know, the, the, God's, the God's word, it does not uh, come avoid. It always accomplishes what he has said. The words of God is very true. The Bible says, heaven and earth will pass, but the word of God will never pass. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh Lord, I stand on your word and authority in the name of Jesus to command they would throw of all of all of vultures locked up in the evil altars. Let these vultures come out in the name of Jesus. Let this be known to the, the, the altars that 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 you are drinking the blood of Jesus. Let this to be to be known to the evil altars that you are drinking the blood of Jesus, and that no demon, no altar of Satan will operate on you. And prosper in Jesus' name. Every altar that has been Amen. has been prepared by, uh, by Satan, because the blood of Jesus is in you. You have drink the blood of Jesus. Therefore, the blood of Jesus will dismantle and destroy every evil altar. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Yes, Lord, thank you, Amen. Jesus. Every mountain created by the evil altars be be labeled. Every mountain. Created to the evil elders, let it be labeled in Jesus' name. Yes, thank you, Jesus. Amen. Lord, I thank you. The gates of the gates of hell shall not prevail against the church, against the altar of God. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, I want to thank you, Father. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you. I give you all the glory. I give you all the honor. In the name of Jesus. Lord, I bless your name and I thank you. I give you all the glory in Jesus' name. Our number once again is 905-792-3798. Call me this number. I know first timers, those people are coming to Periscope. You can reach me on 7, uh, 905-792-3798. You reach me, that is WhatsApp, that is a cell phone. Call me, I will help you, in Jesus' name. I want to thank God so much. Thank you, God. Yes, that is the correct number. Thank you. Go to our website, 
dot overcomers dh ministry dot blogspot dot ca all information are there also remember to donate to our ministry donate an amount i i thank the person i don't know if he, he doesn't know how to do, do it but he was trying to donate and i appreciate you so much i appreciate what you did i god bless you so much you go to the website and donate an amount god will bless you thank you so much this is your host prophetess dr christine sigi saying bye 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 to you i'll see you tomorrow 9 p.m and tomorrow morning also i might i might come or i'll see if tomorrow morning i will be on but we are prayers we need to go to 2017 prophetically we are want to declare a war against any power that is okay. following us 2016 anything that has been affecting your life you will destroy it you will not go with the, with the 2017 also things you don't want you don't want to go with them 2017 write to me go to our website and write them write them to me or our email our email is overcomers dhm at gmail.com you can email me things that you don't want to, to go you don't want to go to 2017 and you are and what you want 2017 thank you very much we, i thank god and god will bless you so much see you tomorrow bye 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 i love you and there's nothing i can do about it bye Bye bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye bye. Good night. <laughs> Good night. Good night. Bye. Love you so much. There's nothing I can do about it. <laughs>